Thank you for joining me for episode five of our What's Next in 5G series. Throughout the first four episodes, you've heard all about our newest offerings. Those advancements are the accumulation of years of research and development. I'm John Smee, VP of Engineering, and as the 5G R&D lead, I've had the privilege of working with the smartest, most innovative minds as we lead the world to the future of 5G and beyond. Today, I'm here to share with you a glimpse of the advanced wireless technologies that we're working on. As we kick off a new decade of 5G technology evolution, we're building on our strong foundation. We're enhancing the performance and efficiency of the 5G system, and also bringing new capabilities to expand 5G's reach into new use cases, deployments, and industries. This work is built upon Qualcomm's more than 30 years of deep wireless technology expertise, end-to-end -end system knowledge, and global experience. It empowers us to be the mobile ecosystem leader in envisaging and realizing the full potential of our 5G future. Every year, we showcase our latest R&D progress in driving towards an intelligently connected world. We see 5G, AI, and other adjacent technologies working together to bring new experiences and benefits to our society. This year is no different. We'll be talking more about our key research milestones as we head towards Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. But for now, here's your front row seat to a few of our key ongoing research areas. We know that people have a big appetite for faster and more seamless access to the mobile internet. That's why we're continuing to enhance the 5G technology foundation. This enables us to bring even more capacity, wider coverage, and lower latency to mobile operators and user devices globally. We are working on a wide range of system enhancements and new capabilities. Something I can't wait for is pushing massive MIMO towards full duplex communication. This will let a base station transmit and receive data at the same time in the same spectrum band. Today, we're showcasing key technology breakthroughs along that path. In our multi-cell over-the-air test network in San Diego, California, we have prototyped our design for subland half-duplex communication. This will allow for more flexible service multiplexing, as well as improved latency and coverage. For millimeter wave, we continue to enhance end-to-end -end system reliability and coverage by pioneering the use of smart repeaters. Plus, with full-featured integrated access and backhaul, we can deliver even better millimeter wave system performance. With Release 17-based reduced capability design, also referred to as NR Lite, we're expanding millimeter wave to new tiers and types of devices such as industrial sensors. This will take us a step closer to realizing the 5G vision of a unified platform that can connect nearly everything around us. I'm very excited about the advancements driven by the combination of 5G and AI and how they can work together to unlock new human interfaces. 5G's design has intrinsically low latency and high capacity, which can fuel the next generation of distributed computing and edge cloud applications. Our 5G work in this area combines with AI to enable more immersive mobile experiences like virtual and augmented reality. Our research teams are also focused on enabling new 5G horizontal capabilities, such as more flexible and capable 5G and R-based positioning techniques. For wide area deployments, single cell positioning that combines round trip time and angle of arrival from a single base station can deliver a more efficient solution while meeting 3GPP release 16 requirements. For indoor use cases, such as industrial IoT, we're further targeting release 17 with an accuracy of 20 centimeters. We can do this with the Qualcomm Snapdragon platform in a multi-cell deployment with 100 megahertz of bandwidth. For smart manufacturing, that could be more efficient production and inventory management. And we're not stopping there. We'll continue to improve positioning accuracy, capacity, and latency in the upcoming 5G releases. For new verticals, our work will lead the way in transforming a wide range of industries. For industrial IoT, we're continuing to optimize 5G for ultra-high reliability and time-sensitive networking, or TSN. We also introduced the sidelink channel between devices, delivering new capabilities and significant enhancements to systems performance. For the first time, we're showing how sidelink for industrial IoT can provide broader coverage and higher capacity. In automotive, sidelink is already supporting safety use cases, driven by Cellular Vita X, which we pioneered in release 14. Now, we're demonstrating how Sidelink can complement wide area 5G for advanced applications, such as navigation based on high resolution 3D maps provided by local roadside units. 
and we look forward to continuing to evolve this technology. Our long-term research is focused on the next set of revolutionary innovations, and we're dreaming big. We are driving the convergence of physical, digital, and virtual worlds, opening up a wide range of new applications and devices. It's too early to say what will formally define 6G itself. That is expected to be deployed around 2030. But what we can say is that Qualcomm will be there, just like we've been there for every mobile technology leap, opening up new markets and creating technology breakthroughs. It's an honor to be part of this Qualcomm team inventing the future. Thanks for joining and allowing me to give you a glimpse into what we see ahead. John and his team are on the cutting edge of innovation, developing the technologies that change our lives both today and well into the future. I'm sure you're excited to see what Qualcomm comes up with next and how that will shape the world. We may not know everything the future holds, but one thing we can rely on here at Qualcomm is our passionate teams who are driving the future of wireless. You can feel that passion from our president and incoming CEO, Cristiano Amon. In our last and final episode of What's Next in 5G, you will hear from Cristiano directly. <laughs>